everyone, this is Matt from Motion VFX, and today we are releasing M Reveal for DaVinci Resolve. Now this is a little bit different from other effects packs that we've released in the past. So they actually come in the form of a transition. So after you've installed them using the M Installer application, you'll actually find them under video transitions in your effects library. And from here you can see over a hundred of these different effects. Now normally you'd have to apply a transition into the middle of two shots like this and you have to make sure there are enough frame handles on both sides of the cut. But these transitions are actually meant to be applied to the very beginning or the very end of a shot. So for example you can see this shot actually starts here. We have this little red line and if I just drop on number five right onto the beginning of the shot you can see that's exactly how this effect is meant to be applied. So it kind of reveals the shot in this nice little X pattern. And over here in the inspector, you have two different directions. So right now this is in the beginning of the shot, but we could also use this to hide the shot at the very end. You just want to make sure you select out in the inspector and then now it will kind of hide that shot in reverse animation. And this particular effect has a couple different parameters. We can change the thickness of that X or the roundness. You can see it has kind of this purple overlay. We can of course change that color. Now this is really cool because you can use this in the beginning of a shot even if you don't have enough frame handles in the very beginning. Now that doesn't mean you can't use these as a standard transition. Now let's try 14 right here in between these two shots. Now you can see this one is center aligned. We do have the option to do left, right, or center. But because there are enough frame handles on both sides of this cut, you can see Basically the way this will work, it will bring on this upcoming shot using this in direction. If we choose out, then this shot will animate that way on the way out, revealing the upcoming shot. So every effect in this library basically has two different modes. So depending on if you wanna hide something or reveal something, you have all the flexibility to do either one. And another really cool thing about these transitions, I think they work really well if you use them with a duration that's longer than a standard transition. So for example, here's 93. Now here's what the standard one second duration looks like, but this particular effect looks really good at around you know two or three seconds, something like this. You can see that one works really well with this particular shot with this kind of circular motion with the hand. And this effects pack really does cover a large variety of different kind of styles. There's plenty of these techy kind of glitchy type of effects, but then there's like these really nice ones like number 20 here. This one has these kind of glass squares that sort of reveal the shot in this really stylized way. Now I think number eight could look really cool in between these two shots. This one kind of writes on, let me move this graphic out of the way. This one will kind of write on, kind of cool. If we select out, then it kind of looks like it's erasing and revealing this upcoming shot beneath it. Now you can also use these on graphics or text logos. Now for example, let's try 16 right in the beginning of this logo. This could be kind of a cool way to you know, animate a logo onto the screen. Let's make this a little bit slower here. And let's see what this looks like on top of some footage. And of course these also work the same way to animate a logo out. So we're just gonna select the out direction on this one. And this one gives you some flexibility over this uh, color gradient here. It's mostly made up of red and blue. So it's like a really purple transition here. We can make this maybe like a green and yellow. So tons of different options with these effects. Now lastly, I wanna give you a couple different ideas for building a custom slideshow. So over here you can see I've just got these uh, photos that I took of my friend's band and some of these effects way down at the bottom work really well for this kind of photo style effect. So these last couple ones down the list kind of give you this 3D card effect. You can see it kind of shakes in from the left. And of course with this one you can give it some different directions. You can even change the Z depth. Kind of drops in from the top there. Let's try another one like 97. So a lot of these down here will kind of work this way. A lot of them have this kind of 3D photo stacking type of effect. Really easy way to build a custom slideshow. 59 actually has this kind of page turn effect. Let's see what this one looks like a little bit slowed down. It's really nice. It even blurs that shot coming in. 36 is pretty interesting. It has kind of this stop motion paper type of effect. And with this one, you can kind of dial in the paper edge make this thicker or thinner, and you can adjust the paper texture. If you wanna see more, 
or kind of just have a flat color, which of course you can change that color. I think it's going to look best white. So kind of a nice way to build a slideshow that offers a lot more flexibility than, you know, just a standard template where you just fill in all the photos and you don't really have any flexibility over the duration. Because of course with this, you know, we could have some transitions lasting a lot longer. We could have some photos lasting a lot longer. And we could even combine this with some text. So I'm just going to grab a regular text plus from right here and kind of position this a little bit staggered offset from the picture here. Let's just go ahead and write in the band's name and I'll change the font and maybe we can anchor this to the left side and I'm just going to flip on the fusion overlay real quick so we can position this text somewhere about there, size it down and uh, adjust the line spacing a bit and let's do something kind of like a vintage looking yellow and now let's pick one of these effects that will look good on text so let's try 72 and I think this transition could be a little bit quicker since it is kind of a stop motion paper style effect so yeah I think those two effects layered on top of each other with the text and the images kind of work nicely together so hopefully this gives you some ideas of different ways to use this pack I think there are endless possibilities Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you go and check out M Reveal. It's available on our website for DaVinci Resolve as well as Final Cut Pro. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. We'll see you in the next one.